Good day, everyone. It's been a hot minute since I've done a recording into the semester, so usually that's how it goes. But following up with one of the questions that I received on a prior video about using ArcGIS in Excel, one of the questions was asking, could I display or could you display the data for different crime types and different types of symbology to do that? Played around with it a little today. Obviously, the ArcGIS and Excel uh, connection continues to update. It's actually really cool with all the stuff they keep adding. I, if you're on LinkedIn, there's a couple of people to follow on there, but that's where I get most of the updates that come across my screen. Super helpful, super interesting to see how they're better integrating across platforms for that. But for today's example data, and you can see I had to download Kaltura again to make this. I went into Little Rock, grabbed the city data for Little Rock as a whole. With that, generally what we see here, 2017 through current crime data for the city of Little Rock. With this, we could separate it by month, year, time of day, offense. You can have a lot in here. The cool part is, and why we're doing this video, it has Latin law and location in it. So we can just pull from that and integrate it into ArcGIS. You can see up here that I have the ribbon already at the top. I did update it before this video. That's where I say they continue to build on this platform. Really, really fascinating to see what they have going on. But to show you a couple different ways to go about it, uh, the way I did it before recording this video, I just did it by year and I just made different sheets. You can do it a couple different ways. You can select data within, but to make life easier and I think easier to follow along, I'm going to just select out based on a few crime types and just show what those look like. So to do that, I'm going to apply a filter. And I'm gonna focus on ag assault and homicides mostly for this one or murder itself. So aggravated assault is going to be a subset. I'm just control shift down arrow, copy all of those, paste those in here. So now I have a sheet that is just ag assault. And I'll go ahead and label the second sheet homicide. So when I come in back in here, I can just change my friend's description. This time I'm only interested in the murder ones. Good to go there. I'm going to re-select all. You can see here it's a subset of those. You can get into even the firearm use if you want to only view firearms or different types of weapon use. You can display them differently in the symbology part. Paste those in here and we're good to go. We now have our data sets uh, that represent ag assault and homicide along with their location with the latitude and longitude of all those. The good part in ArcGIS, I still have sample data in there from the parks from the prior data video that I did kind of just showing off what it does. It asks me to sign in every time I reopen uh, Excel, but uh, sign into my account. And here we go. And I'll be doing a lot more videos with this as we start up a project, hopefully in Texas here pretty soon. But with this, we have layers we want to add. So if I have things in my online ArcGIS account, similar, I already have, I know it's already directed to I have a folder for Little Rock specifically. And with that, city parks in Little Rock. So I can add this to my map. And this is from earlier. You can see I uploaded in August. And this just represents all of the parks that are within Little Rock city boundaries. The other option you can do with this now, which is pretty nice, is in Excel, you can add different data sets. So I picked up my homicide page already. Good to go there. I can add to map. So this is where the issue becomes. You can see these are the green dots here. Now, if I were to add again from Excel and I want to change this to my, oh, just select a different sheet. It will change that up here for you. So you're good to go. Hit add to map. And now I have a ton of green dots on top of green dots. This is where ArcGIS has some nice functionality within Excel to change how these are viewed. So with this, I'm gonna just click on one. You can see it has drop down options and shows the symbology. Since I have Ag Assault open, I'm gonna come up here and select this little three layer icon. And this is all your styling preferences. So you can get into making a heat map. I haven't done as much in this just because it's new from the last time I logged in. So I really just wanted to show the symbology. But you can see in here, you have a lot of different options of how you wanna get into the clustering, the annotation, the labeling of it all, the pop-ups, everything with it, which is pretty nice, I will say comparatively to what we first dealt with. So you have a lot of selection, which was in the first one, the clustering, which we know about, the pop-ups, which show you all the parts of each incident itself. So if you were to click on one, 
You can get in the time, the visibility part, the layer itself. But the start, you have the options in it. So we're still on our single symbol, come into style options. And you can pick one of these basic ones here. You can rotate, you can change the transparency of any one. The advanced options are where I think it's a bit more helpful with this. It does give you different types of points with it. And you have different options within here, specifically public safety. So this will help going forward in terms of if you're familiar with ArcGIS or Arc Pro, you have the crime analysis kind of uh, symbology parts to it. So you have some of those that are built in here to where you can display them this way as well. So if you have fire, arson, that type of thing, uh, horses, which are I think interesting from a public safety standpoint, but you do have some of these built in to where you can look at them that way. For now, I'm just gonna come back and do some of our basic ones and just change them to different pins. So if I'm in Ag Assault, I'm gonna make those pins red and you can see there's a lot there. If I come back and I wanna change my layers now to Homicide, and it's up here so it shows you the active layer that you're working with. I wanna change this symbology and say I wanna change this one to, oh, oh red bullseye for the sense. So let's do black so it stands out a bit more. We can go back and show it this way. And if you want to get into it, you can actually turn on and turn off layers just by that clicking the eyeball for the most part. So you can see here where some of the homicides are occurring from 2017 through current for the most part and the city of Little Rock. If you're familiar with the other videos that I've done, these areas aren't too surprising just knowing the areas themselves. If you wanted to turn back on Ag Assaults, if you wanted to turn off parks, you have that ability to change the symbology to it. That's why I say it is getting pretty fascinating to see what is built in functionality wise to the Excel part of ArcGIS. And now that I have it open, I just kind of want to see what the heat map would look like for this style options color ramp let's go is red a high intensity on any of these we can do yellowish so now you can see where for ag assault where some of these hot spots are at this point if you're following me and watch these videos you probably know what hot spots of crime are it's essentially a cluster of it so it's pretty cool to see it that way in a hot spot itself and then you can layer on to seek keep in mind these are separate crimes ag assault and homicide very similar in the nature of violence a homicide could have been an ag assault that was too lethal. An ag assault could have been a homicide that wasn't as lethal. So oftentimes in a lot of the research that I do, I combine them together just given the overlap between the two. With that, we can turn it back on. You can change the ordering to where now homicides, and I'm just clicking and dragging up where so many homicides are. And you can see where we have hot spots of ag assault. We also see a fair amount of overlap with just a visual inspection of our homicides itself. And you can see there's a parts of the city that don't have any ag assaults occurring in them. So they're not clustering to the same degree. If you're familiar, I-630, which was truly built, you can watch Eric Hughes or Dr. Eric Hughes now, uh, his video on his dissertation related to the building and construction of this interstate that truly segregated the city. But typically it's usually housed, yep, along all of these corridors within the city of Little Rock. So pretty cool functionality, how ArcGIS is being built out in Excel, I think is fascinating. I'm loving this from a teaching perspective, especially going into the spring semester where I'm teaching a spatial analysis of social data class. The functionality, the crossover is gonna make it a heck of a lot easier to bring Excel as a foundation into ArcGIS and then use the platforms uh, together. Should make my life a hell of a lot easier come spring, but we never know how that works out in practice. With that, shoot me any emails, questions, comments. I'll be glad to record some more videos. Hope to knock out quite a few over this upcoming break. Until next time, cheers.